Welcome to the enchanting world of our story, where the winter festival is in full swing. The air is filled with laughter and music, swirling around like the delicate snowflakes that fall from the sky. In the heart of the town square, ice sculptures stand tall and intricate, glimmering under the pale sun. These sculptures are more than just art. They are silent sentinels of the townsfolk's hidden fears and regrets. Join us as we delve into this captivating tale, where emotions run deep and secrets are waiting to be uncovered. Lena stood at the edge of the bustling town square, her breath visible in the frigid air, mingling with the warmth of the festivities. Her heart raced, not from the excitement of the festival, but from the weight of emotions pressing against her. A tide of sorrow and joy threatened to overwhelm her senses. The laughter and music around her seemed distant, as if she were in a world of her own, grappling with feelings she could barely understand. The ice sculptures, towering and intricate, glimmered under the pale sun, each one a silent sentinel of the townsfolk's hidden fears and regrets. Lena felt a connection to these sculptures, as if they mirrored her own hidden trauma, the pain she had buried deep within her. As Lena navigated the throng of townspeople, she caught sight of Theo. His warm hazel eyes scanned the crowd, and he stood apart, a gentle giant amidst the revelry. His tousled brown hair caught the light like the soft glow of the lanterns that dotted the square. Lena felt a pull towards him, a magnetic connection that had always existed between them. Yet today it felt charged with an unspoken urgency. She approached him, her heart pounding the air thick with the scent of spiced cider and warm pastries. Theo greeted her with a soothing voice, a bomb against the chaos around them. They spoke of the new sculptures, which seemed different this year, alive with emotion and meaning. And Lena's gaze drifted to a particularly striking sculpture, a figure encased in ice, its expression twisted in anguish. It was as if the sculpture was a mirror reflecting her own hidden trauma, the pain she had buried deep within her. Theo noticed her unease and shared his concern about the sculptor, who had been acting strangely. The sculptor, with his gaunt frame and sharp features, loomed large in their minds, a specter of control and fear that threatened to unravel the fragile fabric of their community. Elder Marin's voice echoed in Lena's memory, recounting the history of the sculptures, once symbols of hope, now twisted into tools of manipulation.